In this video of dotted framework, we will finally talk about the unsafe code. As from the very first video we have noticed like in .NET we have two parts of code. One is the managed code and another one is the unmanaged code. So now in this particular example, we will notice the difference between the managed and unmanaged code. How we can execute that and what would be the difference in the behavior by the time we will start the execution of unmanaged code. So let's see an example of both managed and unmanaged code for the comparison. So in this very simple example, you can see I have done both the things like safe and unsafe code both together. In this example, I have taken a class inside this. I have a main method and I'm using array. If you want to go through the concept of array in more deep way, you can simply follow the C-sharp video tutorial, which is already live in tutorialspoint.com for free. And here inside what you can see is I have taken the array of size 5 where I have initialized all the five blocks with these values. If you will not do by default it will get initialized with 0. So whenever you talk about an array the first index will always begin with a 0 and proceeding the last one will be the length minus 1. In this case the length is 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 is the last index which you will see here. Now what I will do here is uh, I am reading the last element like I pass the index inside the console.write line ARR4. This is the fourth index which I can read. But as soon as I will try to read this particular value for the fifth index, fifth index means the sixth block which I have never allocated. So since it is a part of your managed code, as soon as you will try to do that, the GIT will throw an exception so that we should not access such part which we never allocated. So if this line will definitely give you an exception. But if I'll do here inside this unsafe code where I have used the pointers, if you don't have any idea about the C pointers or C++ pointers, uh, no worries. You, even if you will not execute the unsafe code, that will not harm you at all in .NET programming because we will hardly use these pointer things. But if you know, you can easily proceed now. So here you can see is I have taken a pointer and as for the managed code I use the new keyword for allocating the memory here I will use the stack alloc uh, keyword for allocating the memory for the unsafe code and again I have taken the length of 5 array of length 5 I have not initialized any value but you see this is the pointer which will take the address of the root location and if this is the root 1 2 3 4 is the maximum thing that I can go but you see here I am adding I have copied the address of this pointer to this and now I am changing the location of that particular pointer to 50 uh, spaces ahead or 500 spaces ahead all right which I never allocated but even though if I try to read it it will not give me an error it will give me anything which it will get in that particular location so let's see when you will try to compile a code which is having the unsafe code inside it. So what I will have to do is the, first of all you will have to add this unsafe option right here during the compilation and now you can compile this. So you see it got compiled successfully but now as soon as I will uh, try to execute this sample.exe I will get an exception because I am trying to read something which is not in my limits. So this is what I call the index out of range exception. So let's comment this one and uh, let's recompile after saving it again it got saved and now let's execute it again you see in the fourth location fourth index I am having 50 that is true but when I'm adding 500 I'm getting anything all right so uh, because I have never allocated any space out there and I'm reading the value so whatever data is there I'm just reading it in as an integer so this is why I'm getting this particular value you can also call it a garbage. This, that is the reason because C is having the pointer concept. They do have the concept of garbage values. But as per the managed code you will do in any language inside the .NET framework, you will never get any garbage thing like that because you will not be able to access anything which you haven't allocated. And if you will allocate something, it will be initialized with the default value that is either zero or null, but not with any unknown value. So this is how you can also process the unmanaged or unsafe code in your .NET framework. 